Yo, 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 yo! So, we're back again guys to another video for CE410 or Hydraulics. So, para sa video na to, ay mag-solve tayo ng problem about cake. So, ito ay parte pa rin ng topic about flow measuring devices. So, para sa mga hindi pa nakakapanood ng video o ng video lecture ko about gates, ay panoorin nyo na siya at nakalagay yung link sa description sa baba. Let's go! Let's go! So, ito yung problem. Problem number 13 From the figure shown, determine the rate of discharge of water at the gate if the width of the gate is 2.5 meters, the coefficient of velocity is 0.75, and the coefficient of contraction is 0.6. So kung titignan natin dun sa given na figure, ito yung magiging source of water wherein magdi-discharge yung water dun sa gate. So ito yung opening ng gate. So, ang constant na head ng water dun sa supply o dun sa reservoir is 3 meters. Then, dun sa opening ng gate, hindi naman binigay or hindi naman given yung height ng gate. Pero alam natin na ang opening ng gate or yung width ng gate is 2.5 meters. So, once na mag-discharge na yung water dun sa gate, ito yung minimum height or yung minimum head ng water so assume na natin na this is the vena contracta yung height height ng vena contracta is 0.85 meters so given na dito yung device coefficient para dun sa gate so that's uh, the coefficient of velocity which is 0.75 and the coefficient of contraction which is uh, 0.6 so yung required o yung kailangan natin ma-determine dito sa problem is ano daw ba yung rate of discharge the flow rate dun sa gate so that is the actual discharge no kasi nga given na naman yung device coefficient natin kaya makakompute na natin yung actual discharge let's go so yung solution natin ay start tayo dun sa formula so ang formula natin for actual discharge is coefficient of discharge C times the theoretical discharge. Kaya lang, kung titingnan natin dito sa figure, ay given na naman yung height for the vena contracta. Kasi meron tayong formula na Q sub A is equal to the cross-sectional area of flow of the vena contracta as represented by lowercase a multiplied to the actual velocity. So, ba't ko sinulat to? Kasi nga, given na yung depth o yung height ng uh, vena contracta, which is 0.85. Kung mamultiply natin siya dun sa width ng gate, ay makukumpita natin yung cross-sectional area of flow at the vena contracta. So, ayun. So, pwede natin computing yun. So, A is equal to uh, the height which is 0.85 multiplied to the width. So, denote ko to as h sub 2 as this area is 1 and this area is 2. And later on, gagamitin natin siya sa ating solution. So, that's a is equal to 0.85 multiplied to 2.5 meters. So, ito yung cross-sectional area of flow ng vena contracta that's 0.85 multiplied to 2.5 yan so may nakompute na tayo na cross-sectional area ng vena contracta so that's or that will be stored to A para magamit natin later on sa ating solution. So, that's 2.125 square meters. Yan. Next, computein naman natin yung velocity. Let's go! So, ngayon, computein na natin yung value ng actual velocity. Since na-compute na natin yung cross-sectional area of flow for the vena contracta, So, meron tayong formula for actual velocity na V sub A is equal to the coefficient of velocity multiplied to the theoretical velocity. 
And from our discussion, we say that the theoretical velocity para sa gate, no? from our derivation, that is equivalent also to the square root of 2g multiplied to d sub 1 minus d sub 2 plus b sub 1 square. So, b sub 1 square. So, itong d sub 1 is also equivalent to 3 para dito sa ating problem. Yun yung <coughs> d sub 1 and d sub 2 is for the vena contracta. So, 0 0.85. Ngayon, ang problema kasi ay hindi naman given yung uh, b sub 1 o yung velocity of approach para dito sa ating supply. Kaya, hindi natin magagamit itong formula na to para dito sa ating magiging solution. Since hindi nga given si V sub 1, kaya balik tayo dun sa fundamental which is uh, using Bernoulli's energy equation. Bernoulli's energy equation. So, that's E sub 1. Since hindi naman given ang or walang binigay na head loss, uh, ideal muna yung system natin. Given naman si C sub B, kaya makukompute naman natin yung value ng uh, actual velocity. So, ngayon, uh, gamitin natin yung uh, points sa points 1 and 2 para dun supply and dun sa Vena contracta. So, since ang assumption natin ay uh, same level lang si points 1 and 2, so ilagay natin siya dito sa bed no ating system ay zero na yung ating elevation head. So, Z sub 1 is equal to Z sub 2 equals Z. So, maka-cancel out siya dun sa solution. Kaya, ang consider lang natin is the velocity head and also the pressure head at points 1 and 2. So, this is Z sub 1 square for 2G plus P sub 1 over gamma uh, equals V sub 2 square over 2G plus P sub 2 over gamma. So, ngayon, kung matatandaan nyo, itong pressure head is represented by the depth at points 1 and 2. So, for P sub 1 over gamma, that's equivalent to 3 meters and P sub 2 over gamma, that is equivalent to 0 0.85 meters. So, Upon substituting, that would become B sub 1 square over 2G plus uh, P sub 1 over gamma is 3 meters and B sub 2 over B sub 2 square over 2G plus yung P sub 2 over gamma is 0 0.85 meters. So, try natin i-transpose itong velocity. So, from the left-hand side of the equation, itong V sub 1 square over 2G, lipat natin dito. Just to make the statement true. So, 3 minus 0 0.85 is equal to V sub 2 square over 2G. Uh, since common naman yung denominator na 2G is pwede ko siyang gawin ganito. V sub 2 square minus V sub 1 square over 2G. So, ngayon, uh, pwede ko pang i-transpose itong 2G dito sa left-hand side of the equation by multiplying both sides by 2G. So, ang matitira na lang is V sub 2 square minus V sub 1 square dito sa right-hand side of the equation. So, mangyayari na para dito sa left-hand side of the equation, that is 2G multiplied by 3 minus 0 0.85. So, try natin siyang input sa calculator. That's 3 minus 0 0.85. So, that is 2.15 and equals <coughs> V sub 2 square minus V sub 1 square. So, multiply pa natin to para makuha natin yung value nitong function na to. So, that is uh, 
multiplied to 2 and also multiplied to 9.81 meters per second square. So, yung magiging uh, value <coughs> para dito ay B sub 2 square minus B sub 1 square equals 42.183. So, ngayon, ito ay magiging working equation na natin. Meron tayong functions for B sub 2 and B sub 1. Kaya lang, ayun, kailangan lang natin ma-determine is ano ba yung value ng B sub 2. Kasi yun yung gagamitin natin sa ating formula. Kasi ang concern naman natin ay yung discharge uh, or rate of discharge ng water sa gate. So, kailangan natin, since sa gate yung tinutukoy, kailangan natin makompute yung actual velocity dito sa point 2. Let's go! So, since dalawa yung unknown, B sub 1 and B sub 2, ay kailangan meron pa tayong isa pang magiging working equation para makompute natin yung value nung dalawang unknown. So, saan pa natin pwedeng kunin yung value ng B sub 2 and B sub 1? Kung maalala nyo, meron tayong tinatawag na continuity condition or continuity equation wherein uh, Q sub 1 is equal to Q sub 2 and is equal to Q or Q is constant along the system. So, applicable naman siya dito since ito ay one directional lang na stream. Kaya, uh, apply natin to. So, and kung gagamitin natin yung equation na Q sub 1 is equal to Q sub 2, ayan, pwede natin sabihin na uh, B sub 1 uh, multiplied to A sub 1, B sub 2, multiplied to A sub 2. So, since Q is equal to AV, yun yung ating naging working equation. So, meron tayo ditong B sub 1 and B sub 2, which is uh, both values are unknown. Pero, ayan, makukumpit naman natin yung A sub 1 and A sub 2. Kasi, ayan, yung B sub 1 multiplied to A sub 1, A sub 1 is 3 multiplied to the width of the gate that is 3 times 2.5. Oops, erase ko lang to. Multiplied to 2.5 equals B sub 2 multiplied to the cross-sectional area at point 2. So, ito na yun, uh, 0 0.85 multiplied to 2.5. Ayun. So, ngayon, pili tayo ng magiging equation number 2 natin. Kasi ang kailangan naman natin computein ay B sub 2. So, ito. So, ang kailangan natin ma-substitute dito ay B sub 1. No? Para matira na lang sa equation ay B sub 2. So, kailangan kong ma-manipulate tong equation na to na ang maging value ng B sub 1 ay in terms of B sub 2. So, pwede kong i-divide both sides by 3 times 2.5 para makuha natin yung value ng B sub 1. Oops, sorry. This is 3 times 2.5. So, yung value ng B sub 1 in terms of B sub 2, so cancel ko na to, ay input natin sa calculator. So, that is 0 0.85 divided by 2.5. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, cancel out na tong 2.5 dito. Sinart cut na natin. <coughs> Madodoble lang input natin sa calculator. That is equivalent to 0 0.34 B sub 2. Ayan. So ngayon, pwede na natin i-plug in itong equation number 2 dito sa ating equation number 1. So para naging simultaneous na yung ating equation. So upon substituting, that is B sub 2. Oops. Palpang ko yung kulay ng aking pen. That is b sub 2 square minus b sub 1. So, ito yun. That is also equivalent to 0 
B sub 2 and that is uh, with exponent 2 or square is equal to 42.183 Ayun, pwede na natin itong i-input sa ating calculator that is yung B sub 2 is represented as x square uh, minus uh, the quantity of oops, sorry quantity of 0 0.34 square equals 42.183 So, shift solve lang natin at input ako ng any positive number. Ayun. So, yung nakompute natin na value ng x o ng b sub 2 is 6.9 Zero six yan, meters per second square. So, gagawin ko ay store ko to sa B. Store ko to sa B. Since na-store na natin yung <coughs> yung itong A at A. Ayan. So, shift store to B. Let's go! Ayan. So, ito na ba yung actual velocity na pwede nating may input dito sa ating formula? So, hindi pa yan yun. No? Kasi nga, wala tayong kinonsider dito na head loss. Since wala tayong na-consider na head loss, ito ay theoretical velocity pa lang. So, maaga ko pala siyang na-store. Pero, pwede pa naman natin siyang gamitin. So, kapitin muna natin yung actual velocity. That is, V sub A is equal to the coefficient of velocity times the computed theoretical velocity. So, that is B sub A is equal to so, C sub B is given that 0 0.75 So, multiply natin siya dun sa computed na B sub T or theoretical velocity which is na-store na natin sa calculator at B. So, that is so, multiply ko na tong answer to uh, 0 0.75 So, V sub A is equivalent to 5.1797 meters per second square Gagawin ko ay store ulit ako kasi hindi pa tayo natatapos that is uh, stored to C. Yeah. So, ayun. So, nakompute na natin yung V sub A. Nakompute na rin natin yung uh, lowercase a or yung cross-sectional area of flow at the vena contracta. Let's go! So, balikan natin tong formula na to. So, substitute na natin yung mga nakompute natin na values. So, for Q sub A, that is lowercase a, which is ito, wherein na-store na natin siya sa calculator at a. So, alpha a. Yan. Ito na yun. Multiplied to v sub a, wherein yung v sub a ay na-store na natin sa c. So, multiplied to c. So, yun na. Yung makakompute natin dito, is yun na yung value ng actual velocity. So, multiply ko lang to to C. So, yung value ng actual discharge is uh, 11 point zero zero six zero zero six cubic meters per second. So, ito na yung value ng actual discharge o Q sub A para dun sa G. Let's go! At yun lang para sa video na to. Sana may natutunan kayo at see you sa next video. Thank you so much.